Hello everybody and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. We are here again with the Cursed Estate and it has been a bit of time since we last jumped into this series. It has been um, a, a week since we did an episode because I was on holiday last week and obviously with the series being uh, very interactive, I didn't want to sort of rush anyone to write or anything so I thought I'd give people basically a week's break which I think has helped everyone uh, with refreshing their writing and stuff. So, just in terms of stuff we got going on, we do have um, Annie here as a new character, that grave robber. We do also have a sisters class, and we do have a backstory for this, but it's a very, very old backstory written by someone that's no longer part of the writing team. So if anyone wants to pick up the sisters and do a backstory that they'll be a bit more involved with, then um, <clears throat> I'd definitely be up for that. In terms of what we're going to do today, I think we're going to go out to the Sunwood Isles and go for this medium level 2 adventure uh, just to try and get these guys up a little bit in their levels um one moment yeah just try and kind of peak their levels a little bit um and hope we can do some good stuff with that um so we have annie as part of our team we have um gauze on here and we have aphrodite as well so i'm hoping these guys will be pretty decent um if we bring them along to the sunward isles also grave robber and aphrodite they both gain the extra curio uh, interactions. Get gain. I mean, as in, like, they gain the extra loot that the Antiquarian would normally get. I don't know if having two of them stacks, but it might. Either way, we're going to bring both of these guys and try and get them leveled up a little bit. But, of course, first of all, we need to go into Annie's backstory, um, which is a rather long one. Mainly, I know this because it was sent as a Word document rather than as a message, so... Let's get into that now. Um, this one, I believe, is by Meme Police, so thank you for writing this, but let's get into it. So, let me open up the, the character sheet, actually, so you guys can see that as I'm reading. Let's get into it. So, <clears throat> there is two kinds of people in this world. Those with sharpened blades, and those who... Hmm, those who what? It was a stream of fantasy and attempts to come up with a catchphrase of the students during classes, dreaming of becoming a famous theatre actress. With this phrase, she wanted to impress the teachers and present them with her role, which she carefully thinks through. <clears throat> her role as a professional archaeologist, a daring and courageous tomb raider, def um, definitely hitting enemies <clears throat> with throwing knives and poison darts. The girl whose name was Annie Ar Arted, Annie Arted, has read and studied a lot to fit this role. From many historical books to recipes for various dangerous poisons, sparing no effort, she learned how to throw knives and darts and did athletics, and all in order to win back the image she wanted. However, a chain of events dramatically changed her fate and how her dream would come true, and his parents, respectively the rich um, Arthoud, Arthoud house, did everything um, so that she did not know troubles or adversaries. But a terrible thing happened. Her parents died when the carriage drove off the road and into a cliff. If only the news of her parents' death was the only, uh, was the only bad one. Annie inherits, in addition to the undeniably um, chic mansion, a considerable debt. Her parents hit, hid their somewhat disastrous situation and gave Annie the maximum. They believed that their daughter should not have known how much her well-being would cost them. She is the legacy of the Arthoud House. There is simply no money to continue study studying and for excess. However, Annie was simply not in the mood to solve such complex issues. For a week, killing her health with absinthe and tobacco, she simply grieved and did not know what to do. On another night, in the pouring rain, Annie stood at the window and looked at the surrounding gloomy landscape, sadly thinking about who she could have been. But then a flash of lightning lit up the cemetery in the distance. Looking at the old, vast cemetery, it dawned on her. Why would I pretend to play the role of an adventuring archaeologist if I can do it right now? Of course, it's immoral and it's illegal to dig up other people's crypts and graves of valuables. But does anyone ask permission to exhume um, and excavate ancient tombs? Of course not. Dead, man d dead men don't need gold. With these thoughts, she took out an already forgotten pickaxe, shovel, darts, and a knife, and went to dig the graves. And from that day on, Annie stopped being um, a grieving and naive dreamer. She became who she wanted to be, a grave robber. There is two kinds of people in this world, those who sharpen blades, and those who dig graves. And I dig the graves for you. Wow, that's really good. <clears throat> really intriguing. I really like the idea of 
basically her having this sort of fantasy in her head of becoming this acclaimed actress um, who plays a specific character, and then due to her life circumstances actually being thrust into that role by like natural circumstances. I think that's really interesting. Uh, so let's quickly just make sure we've got the upgrades we need here, <clears throat> and then we can uh, head out. Of course, Gorzon is level 4. One problem we're seeing at the moment is all of our healers are over-leveled. Um, and it's it's causing some problems. We're going to go with boom. And there you go. So yeah, basically at the minute we don't have any um, level 3 healers at all. Uh, so we're going to be on the lookout for some level 3 healers. Um, and we're going to be on the lookout for some level 2 healers as well if they come across. But we'll, we'll see what we end up getting given to us. Um, and hope that we can find a way to make it work. But anyways, let's trink it up these guys and see exactly what we want to um, what we want to do with these guys. So Chaos, I think we unlocked a trinket for him recently. Yeah, we got um, <clears throat> the bonus to his repost and bleed skill chance, which is really nice. And then on top of that, we can take some hefty damage as well in the form of, I believe it's one of the helms, right? I thought it was one of the the heads. Do we not... One minute. Unequip all trinkets. Rearrange. I think we had it equipped on someone else briefly. There it is. Damage, crit, dodge, speed. Lots of extra stress, which for this guy isn't ideal. But um, I feel like it's fine. We should be okay. Um, and yeah, I think this is going to be a pretty goddamn good setup for Chaos here. Um, and let's see. Do we have any grave robber trinkets? Surprisingly, we do not. Um, I'm not sure what to put on her yet. Of course, we'll go with the double healing setup as always here. Um, although the healing isn't super strong here, but it's still nice. Severe mood swings we still need to get rid of. Um, and then here, I'm not entirely sure what to go for. We do have this, which hits the, the full back line. We could potentially go with re increasing, increasing crits received. But we did pick up this ancient coin recently. Um, which is going to give us extra damage and crit. Okay, this definitely should go on you then. So, basically the minor antique and the rare antique are something that you only get as the antiquarian. But, well, as the grave robber and as the um, falconer, they both can pick those up. So, this is an incredibly powerful trinket here. Uh, we'll go with some extra damage here as well and really go for the all-round crazy good damage there. Um, I think these two are going to be hitting pretty darn hard. Um, and then in the back line, I'm still not entirely sure. I don't think we really, really want to go for a damage setup, to be honest. I don't think that really lends itself too heavily to the Falconer's sort of skill set. Um, so maybe we'll go with something more supportive. Maybe we'll flick on... Hmm. We could flick on that for the, the debuff, which is going to be quite nice. Uh, let's flick on that and then put on the uh, Resolve XP as well. And just get her leveled up a little more. I think that'll be rather nice. Um, it's it, it makes up for a little bit of the damage lost. Um, we still get the debuff. I think that's going to be pretty decent. I think that uh, puts us in a pretty good spot. Let me take a little look what we've got going on in terms of diaries as well. Once we get our provisions set up. Uh, make sure we're actually in the right mission here. Uh, that was almost very poorly planned. So yeah, we're going to go for this one here. Of course, this is a mission that's going to be fairly easy for us now. I could go for the... Um, I could instead go for the medium mission... I am a little worried about a medium mission to the Sunward Isles at level 3, uh, just because we don't know what the level 3 enemies hold, and um, we are... We're only level 3. I don't know, let's let's maybe give the level 3 mission a go. We can always escape if need be. I feel like the damage output on these guys is so hefty that we should be okay. Um, so let's take a little look here at what we want to do in terms of provisions. So we want to go for... Um, let's go for... 20... Uh, we'll go with 24 food. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to take excess. We'll go for 4 shovels. And we'll go for 3 of everything else. Uh, Laudanum's useful, but I'm not going to take Laudanum here. And then we'll go for... 16 torches. I don't have any minor Omenoris, and I do. I do have a few, but I'm not going to take them, even though they are valuable here. Just because I need inventory space for my antiques and stuff. Anyways, I think this is a, a good setup, and I think everyone's kind of raring to go here. Um, this will put us in a pretty goddamn good spot. And we'll, we'll just sort of see how things progress uh, and embark. 
see what we've got going on. But yeah, let's take a look at what die ranges we've got going on. I have not had a look at these um, since I went away, so there'll be a few new ones as well as a few old ones to read as well. Um, let's have a little look-see here. So, one second. Okay, here we go. Uh, it's accidentally started into the mission as I uh, unpaused the recording there, but um, I found some of the previous diary entries that we've got and some of the newer ones as well that we can go through here. So let's uh, let's get into those. So first of all, from Penn Simmons, we have uh, a diary entry from uh, Helen Markov, which is our plague doctor. Dear diary, I finally found you. I totally forgot that I put you in the nose of my mask so I can write stuff down while I'm out. I got too caught up in reminiscing with Dell and treating his illness to worry about making diary entries. You won't hold that against me, will you? Anywho, update time. I've developed a treatment for pneumonia and hair fever. It isn't the biggest worry right now with the plague and blight reigning over the good people, but they will help. I've been working with the hospital on developing ways to help the townspeople avoid blight. Unfortunately, it isn't as effective on the battlefield, but when, it come, uh, when we come back sick, we have avenues to good health. Delmar's health has been... Fair. I don't want to see another good man die to those chemical weapons. He is effective in combat, but his lungs are severely damaged. He also has cancer of the skin. I practically have to flay him to help slow the spreading. It's fucking depressing, but I can't show that. All smiles and hope from this doctor. Oh, uh, now I'm an actu actually a doctor. The hospital award me with this title since I've been helping them. I wonder what dad would have thought about that. I couldn't save him from the plague, but I have saved so many. Maybe when I save Delmar, I can finally be able to feel like the Doctor. For now, I'll just wear the title when needed. Frankly, what we need right now is a good mind healer. The ward is helpful, but temporary. And they haven't been able to give up any crew, um, any, uh, to give any of the crew any real peace. Though, in their defense, how mentally well could we be while waging war against the monstrosities that madam, uh, that, that madman pulled into this world? We're all mad here. And then we've got another one by Penn Sims as well, and this is for Delmar, which is the exterminator that uh, Helen was just t speaking about. I have to decide if I should rewrite my will. I kept it simple, the standard for exterminators of the Hamlet. We never have much to give, just our salaries, so it is never necessary to give more than the names of, uh, of next of kin. As we've moved deeper into the manor, our income rises, and the heir has been generous to a point. Most of the funds go back into the expedition, but I may die at any moment cancer, the lung failure, or simply dying in combat, the reaper holds many deaths out for me. And what if I just go missing? What if I'm collected and added to the army of the damned? Will they still honour my wishes if I took up, against, took up arms against them? I fear any hope ignited by Helen might steal my accepted, uh, acceptance of fate and make, more, uh, me more, make me forget that the light can pull the rug out from under us at any time. I do not want my family to go without... Does death not come for me today, tomorrow, or in week's time when I sleep? Um, peacefully, I, and when I sleep, peacefully ignorant. Ellen, Trish, my family, I pray every night that my commission will be fulfilled and I can go home to you uh, and pass you my arms. Not here among the darkness. Not alone in my own sick. But if I die here, I hope I can still care for you from beyond. Very, very nice indeed. And then we have three more to get into over the course of this episode. But yeah, let's jump in here. We're doing 100% of room battle, so we are, are going to have to check pretty much every room here. I feel like combat-wise, we're probably going to have a pretty easy time. Stress-wise, it's going to be a lot, lot harder. We need to make sure that we're um, searching stuff as Annie as well, by the way. Um, minus 15 accuracy for a bunch of rounds. I'll clear that off now, to be honest. Um, a lot to use on one trap, but... Unfortunately, it just is what it is. Yeah, this is good because these guys um, can be pretty problematic, but I think our damage will take care of them pretty quick. I just hope that we don't get too much focus on chaos for stress because that's going to be problematic if that's the case. Um, minus 50% healing skill is not great. We'll go for an attack there. Not an awful lot of damage, really. We'll go for that flurry because that's going to get the uh, debuff across the board. I like that. Ooh, and there comes the swing, but we're okay. We missed it, and we dodged it again. Very, very nice to see. We're going to set up our repose here, um, just because our repose does a bunch of extra damage with the trinket we currently got on. And, of course, we are going to set up the cook, give everyone some restoration. And, again, we go for this, because potentially good damage, but that crit received is, is hugely beneficial to us. We want to keep that going as much as we possibly can. 
Um, and we'll, we'll keep on the attacks there. Nice bit of damage. And in comes the repurse for the kill here. Good damage. A bit of stress relief on top of that as well. Whale of Torment is not going to be good for us. That's some horror. See, this is why I should have brought Loudenham. That stress is going to be rough. But that repursed baby. That repursed makes everything feel alright, I'll be honest. It's very nice to see. And we can even go for a straight up kill there as well. And then we feed everyone. And we get some uh, minor antiques, which is going to increase our uh, damage on a grave robber. We also get some cut, uh, woodworks as well, which is going to be nice. I don't remember what this does. Um, it might sound rather nice. I'm going to try it. Moment of solace. It was a tiny bit of stress relief. Okay, no worries. The three over two. Okay, well, we're fine on stress for right now. I think chaos is going to be problematic. It's certainly going to be something that we have to worry about. I didn't check our prevent nighttime ambush either, which is certainly something I should have uh, looked into before we went into this, but... My mind's a bit foggy on Darkest Dungeon, I'll be honest. I don't know what these guys do. Honestly, the Curious in this area, I've got to be very careful with them because so many of them, I don't know what they do. And so many of them can be quite difficult. Now, I am a little worried to see two um, uses of shovels coming in so early. Considering we have to trip through all of this and we only have two shovels left at this point. That could spell trouble. Archaeus, I didn't mean to be selecting you. That's a, we, we're, we're wasting antiques at the minute. Okay, that scouting's nice to see. Not quite sure what this is, but it's fine because we've, uh... Hacks, oh, okay. You boot. stole it. <laughs> often low on supplies. Um... Nothing happens. Okay. We do get, um, two stress relief for interacting with Curious, as you just saw there. Whale of Torment's coming in hot and heavy here. Of course, he, he gains the horror. And that's going to be more stress there as well, but we got the dodge, lovely. Don't know what this thing does, so I'm going to try and kill it quickly. I also, I don't really know what this guy does either, to be honest, but... It looks like he hits potentially quite hard, so... Let's keep that in mind, shall we? Keep that in mind. Diseased gluttony. Okay, so I'm guessing that's going to be something that procs disease on us pretty commonly. Gotta be ready for that. Again, we'll go with this. So that repair is going to be so nice. Obviously, the increased stress and stuff is problematic. But overall, not terrible. And this is actually doing pretty good damage, considering. I'm liking it. Good stuff here. Good stuff. Honestly, this group is proving themselves pretty worthy already here. Filthy Hide. That's going to be a heal for yourself. It's going to be... Oh, I see. Plus 6% disease chance. And that guy hit pretty hard there. Wow. Uh, that's horror duration and so forth. Uh, we'll go for a heal on you and pass our restoration over. Good. We'll try and take you out. Unfortunate miss there. Uh, Should have looked at his uh, dodge. But my bad. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Go for that kill. There you go. Pick to the face. Going to get through that prop. Good to go for that. And then we can get the kill here if we get a hit. And indeed we do. Well done, Chaos. Very nice. And we even got a strange cucumber, which is pretty funny. So uh, playing as this character, uh, Gorzon, you get um, random cooking items. And I think a strange cucumber actually is a specific... Uh, to this region, which is kind of interesting. That's going to buff us with plus zero additional HP healed. Wow. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why that's uh, zero HP, but it is. We can't do much about it. Ah, oh, we got one of the ring, ring, ring boys here. But we do have the surprise, which could help us take him out early. Um, I'm going to go for a throw on him straight away. I'm still going to go for this multi-strike here. There isn't much chance of us getting him now. It is what it is. Start the cooking early. I mean, I guess we could go for random target here and hope for the best. Unfortunately, we didn't get what we wanted. Um, and he is going to... Oh, wait, no. Wow. Okay, that was lucky. We might be able to get him before he manages to get his attack off here. Although, it depends on his speed. Speed's five. We, we have the chance to get him before he gets another attack in. Although, I wouldn't say it's super likely. Contact is a little bit annoying. We're actually gaining more stress on um, Annie here than we have anyone else thus far. Go for that. Unfortunately, that isn't the kill I was hoping for there, but this will be. Beautiful stuff. And this guy, the Kappa, normally kind of an annoying thing when there's multiple enemies around, but we're dealing with it reasonably well considering he's on his own. Um, or reasonably on his own. Go for a punch there. That's going to at attach that bleed as well. Of course, go for the heal here. Heals for seven. That's very nice. It's very, very nice. Um, 
Honestly, this attack is just so good. We could obviously change the mode here if we... Um... Oh, wait, no, we don't have to change mode. Ooh, although, saying that, all heroes gain plus 10 crit. That might be a better way to start off combat, to be honest. Like, late into the combat like this, it's not as valuable, but starting off combat with plus 10 crit to everyone and minus 2 stress is also quite nice. It's, it's pretty good. Okay, you're going to die to bleed, right? No, not quite, unfortunately. Not quite. Oh, because you have restoration, of course. Wow, you really like her, don't you? Annie is uh, not okay. Let's heal everyone up and then blight you and that just kills you outright. Lovely. Can I keep doing this? Oh my goodness, you can. Okay. We may have found a new tactic here. Oh my goodness. The loot. The loot explosion. Wowee. Okay. Um, we got a minor on Amori there as well, which is rather nice. Good to see. Okay, so we might have found a potentially new avenue for um, Aphrodite to, to do some work here in just buffing everyone's crit by a ton and then increasing crits received when we want to deal some damage. That's, that's pretty interesting. I think this is stress relief again, so we'll go here. Beautiful. Minus 17, that's good. We've got a fight coming up here. Another slightly difficult one. These guys can just put out some good damage, so they're a little scary. Um, I'm going to do this to, to debuff their bleed uh, resistances, because that's going to be pretty helpful with Chaos, especially if we get his repost going, which I'm going to do. So yeah, let's let's do this. Um, De-stresses de a little bit, and plus 10 crit to everyone. That's insanely useful for us right now. Really, really good. Okay, we are taking some damage across the board here, and a stun, which is not ideal. Shall I go for the repurst? Yeah, I think I will. Nice crit executed. as well. Wasn't expecting it, but imagine to keep our stress at bay somewhat. Get our cooking going. Everyone gets that baseline. Oh, we gained the stress from that and didn't get the repurst. That is... A real kick in the nards, I've got to say. Ooh, that's a very nice crit, though. I like that. Very nice crit indeed. Okay, that time we get the repurse. We are losing a little bit of HP here, though, so we're going to have to go for the heal. Um, we can do this to buff healing received and then do this. Slightly more valuable. And we got a crit as well. Need to remember that's a free action. I always forget it's a free action. Um, yeah, let's just go for an attack. Ooh, baby, that's that's exactly what we want Chaos doing. Hitting very, very hard, proving his worth. He's He's been down in the dumps, basically, since Kimber Morgan uh, passed away. He's not really been out and about. He's not really been interacting with anyone. But I think now that that's over, he's, um, he's really come out of his shell a little bit. Uh, especially since the whole thing happened with Basilla potentially offering to buy him out of slavery. It's kind of an interesting uh, development to the story. Oh, that unnerving contact. The stress is getting a little out of hand here. A little out of hand. But we, we, we sort of expected that, so... I'm not going to act like it's some bizarre coincidence, because it, yeah... was bound to happen. There you go. And there's our rare antique, which is going to increase our damage even more here. Uh, so we're going to get rid of... I'm also going to get rid of the miner for now. Um, see. Oh, bl bloody hell. We're all full up on stuff. Give me that. Right, um, so now you gain 10% extra crit and 45% extra damage. This is something we can use on a lot of different characters. For, like, her base crit chance is 39%. That's, that's... Oh, wait, that is with the boost. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking that's crazy, but that is with the boost. That makes a little bit more sense now. Uh, that needs us to use an Omnimori, but we can't do that right now. The match is struck. I might not even need to a camp, you know. We do get one of these shark guys uh, who crit against bleeding, which is problematic when paired with this guy. We've also got this little dude here, which is a pain. Oh, ho, ho, baby. That is something that you love to see. Not liking the filthy hide, though. 6% disease chance when hit. Ugh. We'll go for this here for the crits received and a little bit of damage on. 
Mood swings affecting us already, of course. Should always do that, considering it's free every turn. I always forget about it. Right. I'm intrigued to see how this combat goes. It shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I'm just going to go for the hits here. That is awesome. That is awesome to see. And... Let's go for this here for the slight stress reduction. It's, it's not much, but it's something. Ooh, wow. That is a, that is a hard-hitting attack take that guy out. Hopefully we don't get a disease. We didn't, luckily. And there's some hard hits coming in. Lovely. Beautiful stuff. Oh my god. The shark's getting demolished right now. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Oh, wow, that was it. That is surprising. I did not expect that, right? Um, let me just do this first. Okay. Um, honestly, yeah, let's leave it there and try and fit in something else, shall we? That was unexpected, but very nice. A nice bit of XP all around. That is quite a good bit of money as well for the short amount of time we were out. I'm very happy with that. And we... Aphrodite is one off. She did get a disease, unfortunately. We're going to have to get rid of that straight away. Um, we also got... High chance to attack our allies. God damn it. Okay, we're going to have to get rid of Psychosis as well. But Chaos did get to level 4 nicely enough. Uh, but yeah, we'll definitely be getting rid of uh, Psychosis in, Ch in Chaos. Which, honestly, I feel like is pretty on brand for Chaos right now. I feel like it's pretty on brand. But anyways, let's, uh, let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of... Wait, what? Can you not be treated? Excuse me? One minute. Take you out. Oh, wait. Was it not you that got the disease? Okay, it was you. That makes more sense. Psychosis. Gone. And Shrieking Sickness. Gone. Good stuff. Okay, so we made some good money there. Uh, let's see what we've got going on here. 5% pro and then 25% damage versus human is kind of interesting. Otherwise, we've not got anything there particularly useful. And do we have any healers to bring on board here? No, we don't. Uh, we have a new Lamia, but we already have a Lamia on board. I don't want to bring on a new one. Um, another, another Ringmaster here. We're definitely going to go uh, and take on the Imposter Ringmaster soon. I'm not sure when, but that's certainly coming. Um, let's see what we've got going on here. So, for the Keeper. 90% of rooms. The Sisters is an interesting one. Hmm, very interesting indeed. Take a look at what Trinket's got going on here. Exorcist, Damage Vest, Mark. That's kind of an interesting one as well. Antiquarian. 100% guard duration received on attack hit mark target. Mm. Very intriguing. Very intriguing indeed. But the brigand 12 pounder there. This is kind of a tricky one knowing where to go here. I, I would I want to do this but keeper we just don't need a treat a trinket for keeper right now. We don't have a keeper. Butcher we don't have a butcher. Damage versus humans is always nice. We could go on another medium into the Sunward Isles once again, potentially. Clean up some of our level threes and get them going once again. Let's take a little look, see who we might want to bring. Lady Vixen, I'd like to level her up to level four. Um, I don't know how Bleed performs. I'm not sure how Bleed performs. Maybe we'll take Pandas here. He does have the... Um, Pelagic Embrace, which I might need to get rid of. Oh, he has Fear of Yokai, though. We don't want to bring him into a place with Yokai. That would be a bad idea. Hmm. I'd like to bring Oliver out again. I feel like he's in need of uh, in need of an outing. Sophie, you can go the back line here. Nyx hasn't been out in a while, but Nyx doesn't heal. See, this, this is our big problem with our healing situation right now. 
We don't have any like low level or even off healers at low level. So we're having to take out people that are higher level and then that's in turn making them even more over leveled. It's it's a problem that we have right now. Um Basilla, I guess we'll bring you out. Like, I, I, I do have a mod on that lets us take overleveled characters with us to missions, but I don't want to use overleveled, like, all the time, because I feel like that's just a little cheesy. Um, right. How we go in here? Um, I, I kind of want to bring out a bleed hero, even though I don't know how well they work, because I, I just really like Guardian and Uriel. They're really fun. I think maybe we'll instead go like this and bring out Guardian. Try and level him up a little bit. Um, and then let's take a little look, see what we can get going on here. So, here we definitely want to take... Uh, also, we're bringing Bacilla out, which is even more antiquarian stuff. So... Let's have a little look, see. So, first of all, obviously, we'll go with the Wombo Combo on healing there. You can take this, which is extra bleed chance, crit versus bleeding, and bleed amount applied. Um, and then do we have any others that are blood related? We have bleed amount um, when applied. Okay, so this is a good combo. These two work really well together. We'll go for that. Which is, like I said, a little risky because I don't actually know if I can bleed enemies here. But I, the Chaos seem to be doing a decent job of bleeding them, so I'm going to guess that they can. Um, here we want to go for the damage, so... Probably want to go for the coin, um, which is sort of like a stacking effect, and then we'll go with the, the head as well. There you go. And then, Oliver, Oliver, what do we do with you? What do we do with you? So, you're going to be up front doing that. You've also got an ability to stun there, nail bomb for more bleed. Okay, so you just probably want some damage. You've got pretty good base damage. So we'll give you damage there. And... Hmm. Maybe I'll give you the resolve XP instead. And give you this. I think that works out reasonably well. Okay. We don't have the uh, ability to pile on minus uh, crits received, do we? There. Okay, that's that's fine. Okay, I think we're I think we're ready here. Let's just check our camping skills. See if we've got a prevent nighttime ambush on any of these guys. Yeah, we have one there. Very nice. Very nice. We have hiccups here, which is slightly less accuracy. That's not going to be a huge problem. Let's grab our provisions again and head out into the Sunward Isles once again. We are on a medium mission here, so let's go with. Again, I didn't even need that much food last time, so I'll take 20 this time. Um, we'll go with four shovels again. And once again, we'll go three of everything. And... We've got 16 torches. Very nice. Okay, and let's quickly do some diary entries while we're here. So, we have... Um, Another one here from Penn Simmons, this is for Baghead the Vigilant. This is basically like a poem, so I'm not sure how best to read this, uh, so I apologise if I butcher this completely. Did you hear it? The echoes of fallen heads with every swing of that sword. Did you hear it? The bag-headed devil with the ease of the falling axe. Chop, chop, chop. Blade to burn. In our old halls, you came home to defend it. Vigilant. You brought your hammer of justice, but you stand there, looking at the back of his hamlet. The cape falling over him like he's some royal. More just a collar for the biting dog. I heard it. Head hitting stone, the pooling blood. You heard it. I know. And you, um, and you t uh, tapped the hammer to your palm, impatient to let the beast out. But you swung out at the bones of your fallen kin and watched another armoured mutt chew at the marrow once again. The undisciplined soldier of God, chose, chosen beast slayer at his back, in peace knowing that the dead man they call Bagman would never bite back. We spit at you, you weak-willed dullard. We spit at your honour, putting your mercenaries ahead of your brothers. Blood for blood, soldier, blood for blood, chop, chop, chop. Very intriguing. I really like the idea of that. And phrasing it as like a poem. One second.
Okay, let's go. Yeah, really like that diary entry. Really, really good. We got two more this episode. Okay, so this is 90% of rooms. Um, so yeah, we, we've got to go back. We've got to do some back and forth here. So let's go back this way first. But I'm, I'm excited to see how these guys perform, to be honest. Okay, we can come back for that if we need it. I think these guys will do some pretty goddamn good damage, to be honest. I'm just hoping that our bleed is as effective as I hope. Oh, we got a secret room. That is unexpected. Right, make sure that Basilla is the one to grab everything here. There we go. Hoping to get a rare antique early as well, so we get that extra damage. Would be rather nice. More stress relief there. Honestly, as well, Oliver is traumatized from the last time he came out, so I'm, I'm interested to see how he how he goes. So, unfortunately, bleed here across the board, the resist is very high. So that's not ideal. Um, on attack, bleeding, self minus four stress. But, doesn't mean we cannot bleed things, so I will still try. I will still try. Um, yeah, we're, we're bleeding. We've got bleed on everyone apart from our front line. So I feel like we can get bleed on people if we try hard enough. That'd be good damage, but also it'll mean that we can lay up some really heavy bleed. Haha, -ha, you went for the person that can repurse you, you fool. Ah, oh, don't keep going for him. Okay, thank you. Because that's scary. Wow, these guys got a lot of attacks in a row, didn't they? Oh, thank god we dodged that. So, both of these are 130 base. We get extra crit against bleeding enemies as well. Some good damage on you. This is actually a really nice combo between these guys. This is a party that I didn't know would work so well, but honestly is pretty impressive. Oh, and there you go. We got a rare one straight away as well. So now our damage is looking spicy on uh, Oliver. Wait, no. On... No, stop highlighting Oliver. I want to... Why does it keep looking at Oliver? I want to look at you. <laughs> it just won't let me, okay. Oh, there you go, finally, okay. So yeah, spicy, spicy damage. Plus 50% damage from trinkets. I like that. I like that a lot. Right, let's keep it moving though. Uh, I will clear that bleed off of you. Why not? We don't need to clear any stress here. Just keep it moving. And we go for this again. But yeah, you may be thinking it's a little bit overkill with the amount of characters we have now that can gain antiquarian treasures. But it is simply just that this episode, they've showed up more often than they normally would. Um... Impressive. Lovely, the crits are really good here. They're showing up more often than they normally would. Um... And it, it just helps us manage our money a little better, because we were having trouble with that. Don't all go for Oliver. Why? He's already on low health. Don't all go for Oliver. Oh, filthy hide as well. We're going to get some diseases here, aren't we? Bloody hell. Lovely. Dude, leave Oliver alone. He's had enough. Thank you, Lady Vixen. At least she heals herself on a crit as well. Hey, there's the big heal we're looking for. Put some dodge as well. Extra damage versus bleeding, so we can go for... Oh, an amazing kill there. And we get stealth out of that as well, which I think is... Low chance to enter, stealth, uh, enter during stealth. Okay, that's confusing. That's not how that should work, but happy for it, I guess. Right, whip that guy. Resisted the bleed. Yeah, so bleed wasn't super effective here, but honestly, our chances to bleed are so high across the board that we're managing it. Lovely stuff. Diseased glutton. I wonder what the chances for that dis to disease actually are. They're probably pretty goddamn high. Good. Good, good. We're looking good all around here. I am liking it. 
Right, last two rooms over here, then we can head back. Bit of scouting. Um, honestly, considering there's a piece of combat there, we can leave that room. Unfortunately, we've got a random spawn bit of combat on the way back as well, of course. And it's all goddamn crabs that are really bleed resistant. God damn it. I probably should just stun these guys at this point. Minus four speed and a stun is pretty gonna goddamn effective. Could have gone for the kill on that guy, but he's stunned already, so why? Ah, all resists. All resists there. It's okay. These guys can be a little annoying because they can spread bleed throughout our group pretty easily. And I think they can stun as well. That's that's the whip that stuns, I think. Ah, uh, Why is... Like, it, what... Like, I need to understand the code of this game more. There's got to be something that says, like... Oh, if, if they attack this one character, they keep attacking the same character over and over again. Because they, they definitely do it with stress, but they seem to do it with HP as well. Like, they just keep beating down one character. Which I get is kind of like the goal of the game is to kill the characters, but... Still, it's annoying as hell. One of them dead. I'm having a little bit of a hard time with this group, to be honest. Their, uh, their prot is definitely helping out quite a lot. I'm liking his stun attack here. While we're against enemies that makes bleeding not so useful. Very nice. There we go. We're getting a lot of crit heals as well, which is really nice. Fish for a crit, I guess. Didn't get it. Along comes the leap again against Oliver. Very good. Very nice. I'm hoping I can get another heal on Oliver before the end of this combat. I'm gonna stall out here while he's stunned. There you go. Feels much better to come and exit combat like that, and we've we're not gonna get reinforcements here. We're just gonna kill him. Oh, Obliterated. Oliver! Wow, he didn't really prove himself in the first mission we took him on, but Oliver's really come into his own this mission and proving to be able to put out some excellent amounts of damage. It's good to see. It's good to see. I'm sure he felt a bit emasculated after that uh, after that poor performance in the last one, which wasn't even particularly his fault. It was like a collective failing of the group, along with some really terrible horrors that we came across, but yeah. Um, Stress-wise, this, this relieves 17 last time, so let's uh, do this here and get rid of all that stress. Uh, do I want to go secret room now? Probably not, because I want to do it in low light. So let's leave the secret room for now. Uh, this is a trap, I think. Yeah, 16, 19, 90. Nice one, Oliver. Well done. And you had to touch it, didn't you? But you found a map inside, so that's fine. Good stuff. Right, two more curious. I'm hoping for the trunks that we can just open. Go... A little bit of extra change in there. Another one of these bags. Oliver! Thank God the, one, the ones that he's touching have already been looted, otherwise I'd be very annoyed at him. I know you're doing well, but there's no need to be a greedy little fucker. We require only the Ooh, we got one of these whales. They don't actually have as much HP as you'd think, considering how big they are. But they're not that bad. Of course, bleeding this guy is literally impossible, so... That's not ideal. Stunning this guy is also not so possible either. So this group isn't going to do a whole lot against him, I guess. Um, we can debuff his prot and his damage, though, which is very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Um, and then we'll buff up you as well here. And that's exactly what we're hoping for, yeah. Obviously, her in the background, she's going to just be a bit of a nuisance. Uh, I might be able to pull her forward, actually, using Guardian of Never. That'd be rather nice if I can do that. Oh, you had to, didn't you? And plus two blocks. Actually, that's actually fine, because the bleeding characters can get rid of those blocks. You still get the debuffs, my friend. You still get the debuffs. Very nice crit once again. 
Looks like we're just going to take this guy down one crit at a time. We go for the buff again here because health is looking good. Weep for the dead. Nice dodge. And a repurst crit as well. The crits are coming in crazy, crazy fast here. It's very, very nice. A bit more stress there. That's fine. Take a look at her, uh, her crit chance now. It's 32 at the minute, which is very good. And Oliver once again finishes up with yet another crit. It's absolutely amazing what he's able to do right now. Really able to put out, dish out some crazy damage. Make sure everyone tops up, why not? Sedated. And we are going to get this, but... Oh, it didn't deal any damage so we don't get to repurst. Uncertainty. The birthplace of dread. Why not? <laughs> wow. Oliver? What is going on with your ability to crit right now? You are just critting non-stop. Um, I guess I'll touch this. Nothing. Darn. Ah, really? Curious is the trap, trap maker's, maker's art. art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. This is bandages, I think. Blade Master. Not very useful for us, unfortunately. Not very useful at all. Right. Good. Ah, it's already been looted. Damn. I'm expecting a trap any second here. Not a trap, but it is a fight. But we did get a surprise. This should go pretty damn quickly now that we've got the surprise here, actually. Um, I could go into beast mode, I guess. I don't really use beast mode much. Oh, that is a really unfortunate dodge there. Masterfully executed. Does bleed you up front. Leads you for a hefty amount. Keep on with the buffs on Lady Vixen here. That's going to work out quite nicely. Delicious Cucumber is going to heal. It doesn't clear the bleed though, so we're still dealing good damage to this guy. Now this guy's going to go underground at some point, so we've got to be ready for that. I don't like his little fingers. His little fingers creep me out. Beautiful. Not a crit though, Oliver, which is incredibly surprising of you. There's a nice bleed. Seven over three is pretty lovely for to see. Fresh water's gonna heal himself, I believe. Yeah. Again though, doesn't heal off the bleed, which is nice. The exposure incoming again. And this should spell trouble for you coming up pretty soon. We'll go for a group heal again here, get everyone topped up. Hitting this back line's a little difficult for us, but we've not really been that bad off, really. Fortunately, Lady Vixen keeps taking on the stress. We keep dodging that exposure attack, though, which I very much like. Pull one of you forward, you pissing me off. You didn't even pull, goddammit. Nice, Oliver. Nice kill. Let's switch over to beast form. Awesome. Annihilated. I like to see a bit of beast form here and there. Oh my god. The, the horror. Returns even the boldest Lovely. Oliver still dealing great damage nonetheless. Ooh, I like those boots. And a precious T-ball as well. All good stuff there. We'll get rid of the jade for the T-ball. We'll get rid of the bandages for that. Pretty happy with that. Right. Back we go. 90% of room should mean that we can leave two rooms unchecked on a medium mission. 
Again, this is another one where I don't feel the necessity to camp. Okay, thank you for disarming this one this time. We'll pause to do a diary entry after this fight, though, regardless. Alright, see what lies ahead. I'm liking those boots, though. Those boots seem good. Okay, so... Bleed. We can actually bleed these guys reasonably easily, so let's go for the bleed. We've got two of them already. We'll go for these two. There you go. All three are bled now. And we'll go for the back two and bleed a little more. Okay. Bleed is well and truly stacked. Ah, that's not a kill. But that, yeah, that is a kill with the bleed, though. That's nice. Now, this attack, if it does hit, does some hefty damage. And he does crit on bleeding targets. That could mean some uh, potentially difficult stuff for us. But that's a amazing repurse there. And this actually cleans up this fight pretty darn quickly. I mean, this guy isn't going to last long. Oh, really, Oliver? That that would that would have been your time to shine right there. Tail barbs. Ooh, interesting. More bleeding. And that that puts you in the hole. That puts you in the ground well and truly it does. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. Don't drag my people around. Um and we'll Crack that open with a key. We don't want any of these curios at the moment. Still got to go back for our secret room, remember. Do not want to forget that. Could be very valuable. Oliver! Why are you such a shit? <laughs> why are you such a shit, Oliver? What is it that's making you do that? Obsessed with material things, okay. Fair enough. Ah, uh, we don't want to touch that. We do have this, though, which we can open with a key. We still need to save one key for the secret room, though, remember? Wow, we, oh, we're on, we've only got two torches left. Intriguing. Gonna spell a little bit of trouble for us, but hopefully we don't need it. Surprise is lovely. We, we had a really good time destroying the shark last time. Kill the crab first because he can actually bleed us. We want to get rid of the person that can cause the bleed first. Yeah, Oliver knows what's up. Oliver knows what's up. Go for the group heal here. Tail barbs. Tail barbs is pretty problematic, to be honest. Seems to have a pretty high chance to move. Uh, and... Movement of certain heroes, like Basilla, not ideal. I'm going to change to beast form once we kill this ghost. Another crit from Oliver. Nice bleed there, lovely. We're still able to heal from here, so we don't actually need to change position of anyone right now. Another tail barb you resisted this time. Ah, unfortunate miss there. An unfortunate miss indeed. Yeah, well, we're going to change over into beast form here. We'll go for that, actually. Decent chance to stun. Unfortunately, didn't get it. Didn't even get the debuff either, so that was pretty worthless, actually. But that, that's not worthless at all. That's a lot of damage. And again, Oliver. You're amazing. Get rid of... Honestly, I'm going to get rid of the firewood. Um, stress relief there, 13. Nice. Last room, this should be the end of our quest. Thank God I didn't get rid of my shovels there. And that is the end of our quest. Good, good. Pop that real quick. Right. Let's make our way back. Hopefully we don't get too many battles pop up uh, on the way back he here. We should be okay, though. But we're going we're to be coming out of this with a lot of money. <laughs> like, a lot and a lot of money. This is this was a really good haul for money, which I didn't even intend this mission in the last one to be for money. 
but it certainly helps when they accidentally are. It puts us in the green for a little while, it allows us to take some liberties, and do some upgrading that we might have uh, been needing to do for a little while, the rest of our heroes, the rest of our roster. I think story-wise there's been some good stuff, it's been a while since we've been to the Sunwood Isles, but I felt like back-to-back -back missions here were somewhat necessary. See what was going on. Keep this place at bay. But I'm really intrigued to do um, the Ringmaster fight next. Try that again. And also, I think we're just about ready to go into the courtyard. I think we're one or two episodes away from entering the courtyard. So um, that's intriguing as well. We've got the vineyards made now for the for the blood. Right, so... Extinguish that. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most Pop in here. Make sure place. to use her. And grab that open. Not the best, but not terrible either. Otherworldly corruption. Good stuff. Right. Quest complete. That is gonna be an insane amount of money gained there. Forty eight thousand. Wow. And we did get Lady Vixen to level 3. Top heavy. That's pretty funny, considering she's a fairly large-breasted woman. <laughs> I, find, I find that quite funny. But still is almost level 5 as well here. 1 XP off level 5. Um, but um, this is good because I wanted her to be level 4 before we considered um, going into the courtyard. And now she is. That's going to be good to see. A fresh irritant, the sun. Um, let's just make sure the we unequip our trinkets. Reorganize them. Check what we've got going on in here. Prop. Interesting, but not great. Any more healers for us at lower levels, please? No. <laughs> We're getting kind of unlucky with the healers at the moment. We really need some lower level healers right now. Because um, our, our healers are just going to get over leveled. But it is what it is. Anyways, we've got a lot of money. And yeah, let's read our last two diary entries and end off the episode. Because we're in a good spot right now. I'm pretty happy with how things have gone. So first of all, we've got the musings of a hunter. Um, Koshkin sits in a... Uh, oh, oh, one minute. Let me check if this is the right date. One sec. Okay, yeah, this is cool. Okay. So this is by Rockerin, The Musings of a Hunter. Koshkin sits in his room, adding a small shard of, of the iron pot to his collection, but doesn't seem interested. He sighs and looks at the chest um, of his gained wealth. The look on Basilla's face as he declines his normal rate of pay. The woman is smart, so she probably knew it wasn't because of because the job was too easy, even though it was. Ugh, kindness is expensive sometimes. Dismas seemed quite happy at the uh, death of the hag, covering his joy with the classic, well, yeah, I was the one cooking so you could do it <laughs> uh, line, but he seemed appreciative of me sh uh, sharing my remedy for minor burns anyways. Mr. Blaze is my concern. The Hamlet seems overjoyed at the loss of two beasts in a couple of weeks, but I see the Elder's pain, his regret. The others don't seem to hold his loss of faculties against him, but he does. I've heard him murmur a name in the quiet. Perhaps a lost lover or a child he saw in the foul voice. As he opens his chest, he pulls out a quite, uh, quite aged bottle of scotch. I may not enjoy it, but I ha perhaps it may help him. As the hunter sets off to find the veteran to offer a shoulder for his war. Free of charge, even. Very interesting. And then we also have another one by Dr. Sanvis Junkie. And this is Son of the Hive, a Puppet Master production. I really like these Puppet Master productions, by the way, so definitely keep them up. Far below the Earth's surface, far below what any man has seen, sits a seemingly endless cavern, l um, lined on all sides with trillions of eggs, all uh, housing lava. Lava born from the cocoon of the black web that hangs from the ceiling. The matriarch, a god forbidden uh, by books, for for bit, uh, forgotten by man, forgotten, sorry, not forbidden, a god forgotten by books, forgotten by man, forgotten by time. A tremor shakes the earth, another, and then again. The tremors quickly fall into a heartbeat-like rhythm. The cocoon stares and trembles. Somewhere in the endless cavern, a single egg cracks open and hatches, revealing the spawn within. The first vessel. My hollow knight, my vessel, calls the matriarch. This world is not yet ready to meet its end uh, at my mandibles. I must sleep, I must grow. The vessel turns its head, facing down the empty corridor from where it hears its mother's voice. The first source of this incessant rhythm, little one. Take your blade and take my power. Do what you must to return, um, to return to my sleep and return when it is done. Do not dally. Do not delay. Do not grow attached to the ones you call ally. The flesh bags are only mortal after all. 
Your true family waits for you down below. Wordlessly, the little one would appreciate his mother's gift and begin the long, arduous dig to the surface, to the hamlet. That's really cool, bringing in some of Hollow Knight's backstory into the vessel. I love that idea. Either way, I really enjoyed this episode. I think we did some really good stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed as well, and I'll see you guys in the next one.